Coming soon to a podcast feed near you. Are you looking for a show that has compelling villains? <laughs> it's too late, Mage Layers. Noble heroes. Face me, you tentacle. High stakes. What the hell is that? Mm, a bit of an anti climax. Even higher stakes. There really is no peril here at all. What about violence? We don't. So twist! What a fucking twist! More twists! Oh. Fuck! What about more violence? More noble heroes and compelling villains? There is nothing worse that you can no. do to me. I really don't know why we're fighting. Is there a chance you could just talk it out? What about extended scenes with running and fearful laughing? <laughs> <laughs> no Return has some of that stuff and more. Like this beautiful song that's actually about Peggy. So be sure to check out No Return wherever good podcasts, and also bad podcasts, wherever any podcasts are generally found. Not since the late 1950s has horror been so scary. <coughs> Giant Monster Production presents horror comedy at its best. Each issue is packed with action. Shoot him, Pat. Shoot him. Suspense. Any hunter that figured out how to find them have all disappeared. Heroism. Oh, yes. Because the vampire is going to get me. Romance. Bruno Domenico. Wisdom. How am I going to be able to start the fire if I wasted signaling for help? Friendship. I don't think it's that far of a drop. I think you'll be okay if he just tucks and rolls when he comes down and not lay on his feet. An axe of courage. If we're being honest here, Bruno did kill both of them. They are the last line of defense against the things that go bump in the night. We are monster hunters, are we not? Oh, the humanity. Tales of the Monster Hunters, presented in Monster Scope. New issues available bi-weekly, wherever you get your podcasts. The following podcast may contain some strong language and adult themes. Listener discretion is advised. You're listening to Strange New Worlds and Spaced Out Tales, a sci-fi audio drama anthology podcast. Episode 10, Heaven's Revolvers. Haven. Close enough to civilization and just far enough from the travelers and their machines to relax. Let's see if I can't keep it that way. Come on, Mary. We're going to be late for the reception. I'm coming. I'm coming. 
Just let me wrap the perfume. Hmm. Oh. Didn't see you there, stranger. Need something? I'd like some place to stay. Bones are aching. What? You walk all the way here? <laughs> well, you won't find the innkeeper anywhere right now. Why not? Ain't he supposed to be running the place? No. Nah, he's getting married today. Speaking of which, I'm going to be late for the reception if I don't hurry up. If you go straight through that center of town, you'll see it. Come on in if you feel like it, stranger. Wedding, huh? Too kind. Uh, someone ought to move that. Real clueless for someone who's been waiting tables his whole life. Ain't you, Levi? Uh, give me a break, Felicity. I'm obligated to be a bit bumbling on my own wedding day. Sure you are. You're looking as beautiful as ever. You sure you should be flirting when you've got family to meet? Can't I spend half a dang second with my own wife? <laughs> <laughs> There'll be plenty of time for that later. Now go on, get. Fancy little thing. Oi, what you doing? Huh, I thought this was an open wrap. Not that. You got nothing on that plate. Come here. All right, all right. I'm coming. Ain't too bad of another that. Might as well enjoy myself. You called for some special kind of entertainment? No. I don't know who those folks are. Can we help you fellas with that? No! Felicity, get down! What are you talking about? Please, just do it. Just my darn luck. I got bullets this time. One of them's near the ice sculpture. Three more behind that table. Wood's thin, though. It'll be remote. Take this, you bastard! Everybody doing all right? Any injuries? Gunshot wounds? Anything? My, my, my son! He got shot in the shoulder! Press this to the wound and keep pressure on it. The rest of you, go find a real doctor. I need a damn break. Wait! Hmm. You're the bride, ain't you? Yes. I'm Felicity Felfelt. But where's my husband? What do you mean, where is he? Uh, I don't see him anywhere. You better not have done anything with him. Done anything with him? Are you delusional? Lady, I was helping. Just tell me where he is! What does he look like? He's got shaggy blonde hair, real tall... And some say he's a bit lanky and underfed. And I'm guessing he was wearing a maroon suit, too? Yes. Yes, he was. Where did you see him? Right over there. Taken out of town by the folks that shot up the place. No. Look, I'm sorry about that, kid. But I can't do nothing about it. Wait. What is it this time? You were handy with that pistol of yours. Help me find Levi and I'll pay you. 
ain't about to pay, lady. I'm too old to be getting involved in these kinds of shenanigans. Well, at least tell me where you're staying in case you change your mind. At the inn. The inn run by my husband, Levi? <sighs> Just my luck. My family has a mansion. You can stay there for the day. I think I'd rather take my chances on the road, thank you very much. You won't get to the nearest town before tomorrow. You know that, right? <sighs> Just for one day, I promise, stranger. Then you can be on your way. Jack. Jack. Just for a day. I might not even need your help. You've got a sharp memory. So, I just want to poke at it about what those bandits look like. Fine. I'll stay. But only for a day. Great. Ezra, take this man over to the carriage. Ma'am? And send someone to track those bandits before the wind covers their tracks. Will do, ma'am. Quit your yammering. I can't work the stiffness out of my legs if you don't. Just hurry it up. All right, all right, I'm done. Now, what did you want to talk about? You know what I want. To poke at my brain. And maybe a bit more. It's the sheriff's job to chase him down. She got one of those in this here fancy town, don't ya? No. Last one got run off by an unsavory looking fella. No sheriff. Town's just waiting to fall into the wrong hands then. My family runs this place. But that's besides the point. I saw how you slung your revolver back at the wedding. Your skills could come in real handy. Like a hired gun. No, I don't want you to kill anyone. I just want your help in bringing my husband back. Which usually involves killing. You've got an awful lot of guards stationed here. Any one of those is at least half as good as I am. Though, probably not much more than that. I need those guards here. And around the town, too. I don't think I like the sound of that. What do you mean you need them around the town? I'm sure the place is doing just fine, sheriff or no sheriff. That ain't what I meant, Jack. <sighs> just sit down, will you? Hmm. <laughs> fine. Now, before anything else, tell me what those bandits look like. Short answer, or long? Long as you can make it. They had nondescript clothing. Ponchos looked a bit worn, but all in the same light brown coloring. Most of them were using pistols like mine, but a few had those fancy laser ones. There were about two dozen or so that I could see. The ones that ran away weren't any different than the ones I shot down. The one was wearing a dark blue bandana over his mouth. And that's all that I can recall. So what now? Wait for my boys to contact me and plan my next move. Hmm. By the time they report back, your husband will either be dead or saved anyway. So why not wait for that instead? No, they won't. Not when I've got this. You're working with the Travelers from Heaven? The who now? The Travelers. Don't tell me you haven't heard of them. Too late to pretend. 
I've genuinely no idea what you're talking about, Jack. Those folks that look like us and came from the stars. The ones with all the fancy gadgets and gizmos they need to turn everyone in their favor. The same ones that caused the whole damn upheaval all over the world. The Nomasons? They don't call them that where I'm from. You're from one of the outer towns, aren't you? So, what if I am? They like being called Nomasons. At least that's what they tell anybody who talks to them. Whatever they like being called, I don't like them. They brought all those dangerous new gizmos and gadgets with them. That's a bit presumptuous of you, Jack. The technology they brought us is amazing. Look at this. I can talk to anyone miles away without having to lift a finger. Look at the medical advancements they brought. You would have been lucky to survive half the diseases they brought cures for. Aye, but that's just one part of it. What about the weapons, Felicity? The outer towns and villages are a mess with bandits running around bearing newfangled guns they barely understand. What's that noise? It's just my watch. Let me... Well, did you find him? Yeah, we did, ma'am. So? Tell me. They rode straight and stopped by this well. Took their horses away and went down it. We had a few close calls, but I don't think they saw us, because they haven't come out yet. Did you check for the other entrances? There's another over by the hills, but no one came out of that either. But something seems off about all this to me. Your job isn't to speculate, Captain. Just hold your position and wait for me to contact you again. Yes, ma'am. I'll make sure no one leaves the well. Thank you, Captain. Goodbye. We can argue about this later. They've found his location. Damn it! Let's go, then! I thought you wanted no part of these shenanigans. I must be getting soft in my old age. Miss... Miss Fellafelt, wait. <sighs> Whatever it is you want to ask me, it'll have to wait until after we've gone and gotten Levi back. I... I would, but it's not really up to me. Joshua Stell is waiting for you, and he's none too pleased. Tell him to schedule it for another time! He said you either meet with him now, or all further talks are cancelled. <sighs> I don't want to intrude on this, but is it really as important as your husband? It's not about that. It's just, you don't know Stella like I do. He's a mean bastard. I can't just ignore this. Why don't we put a couple of rounds into him too, then? Uneducated wannabe lone riders. Always trying to dispense their frontier justice. I didn't quite catch that. Just come on. We need to get this done fast. And I don't want to have to drag you out of your bath again. This? What is this? You're about to find out, Wanderer. This here is a teleporter. First of its kind that we shipped over from the frontier. Portable, wide, and can take you just about anywhere. Packs up nicely, too. What's happening? Felicity? Just give it a moment. Whoa! Quit your belly aching. It wasn't that bad. I'm not complaining. You just have to tell someone when you're about to take them somewhere. Considering your adverseness to technology? <laughs> It would have been like goading a cat into a bath. I ain't averse to technology. I'm averse to that kind of technology. You'll get used to it with time. Come on, we haven't got all day. Ah, Miss Fellafelt. Or should I say, Mrs. Sunderland now. It's a pleasure to meet with you again. It's good to see you again, too, Mr. Stella. The pleasure is mine, madam. Now please, take a seat. We have much to discuss. Firstly, 
I'd like to express my condolences for the recent incident. I couldn't imagine what you're going through right now. The deaths of those innocents by the hands of such disgusting individuals makes my blood boil. Yes. Thank you for your sympathies, Joshua. I hope you find Levi soon. Get him back and avenge those who lost their lives. If there's any aid I can provide, you need only ask. That's very kind of you, Joshua. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't speak of this any further, you're right. You, however, are an interesting prospect. Yeah, and what about it? I don't believe we've been introduced. I'm Joshua Stella. I run some of the finest steel mills in the frontier. Keep the city safe and help share the wonders of the Null Masons. Huh. I'm Jack. Your skill with that gun of yours is quickly becoming legend. I heard about what you did at the wedding reception. You made each and every shot count. Amazing. Really? Yes. And, forgive me if this comes off the wrong way, but I did a bit of research. Not too much. Just whatever I can get in the few hours it took to get here. You're the Sandman, aren't you? Where'd you hear that name? From a few of my men. They said you had the finest aim for miles around. Tell me, how do you do it? You want to know? Really want to know? Yes, please. Have you seen the town nearby, Stella? Regretfully, I couldn't stop by on my way here. I would have rescheduled the meeting had I known, but by that time, I'd already arrived. Well, I just imagined that town, or any town, in flames. Buildings burning, children screaming, lives ending. Then I take those feelings and channel them into training. I stack up cans and bottles on fences, shoot each down. Don't stop until I hit every single one. If I run out of bullets, I go buy more. If I run out of things to shoot at, I go get more. Do that for a decade or two. And you might wind up as good as me. Amazing, Sandman. Jack. Just call me Jack. That's enough worship out of you, Stella. Tell me what you brought us here for. All right. <clears throat> I'm willing to double my previous offer, Miss Fellafelt. I will pay your family 30000 for the land that you're willing to sell. I'm not willing to sell it, Joshua. I've told you this. Miss Fellafelt, please. I urge you to reconsider. That land you're holding on to could be used as a checkpoint between transport depots, a train station, or any number of more profitable uses. Think of what we could accomplish if we could bring technology even deeper into the country. I know what it could accomplish. That's why I'm refusing. Goodbye, Joshua. Times are changing, Felicity. You're just keeping technology out of the hands of those who need it while they suffer at the hands of those who have it. You can't stop it from spreading, no matter how hard you try. Insane fool. Oof. You heard what he said. About what? He knew I'm skilled with a gun. But how? People talk, Jack. News travels. You can't stop them. It don't travel so fast that someone from outside town would know without passing by. Unless they've got one of those armband things like you do. But how many people have those? Around here? Probably no one I don't know. Jesse's leaving too. How's that thing even move without horses? Combustion engine. I'll tell you about it someday.
You sure this well's the right one? Quite sure. Lower us down. I've got some boys at the other entrance if they try and run. All we need to do is get Levi out of here. Clear? Crystal. Keep quiet. Sorry, Mum. Look over there. A door. About two dozen in there, I reckon. You ready? Yeah. Intruders! Come on, reload already. Jack! I got this! There's two missing. So thank you, ma'am. Damn. Where do I pack the bullets? Huh? <laughs> Levi! Oh, thank goodness someone took that off. Now. What in the blazes are you doing here? I came for you. Are you okay? They didn't hurt you bad, did they? Love, please, they didn't. But we have to leave. These are dangerous men. No. Are you talking about these men in particular? How did you... Didn't. Scared the rest of them off. You must be the crew. Yes, yes I am. Thank you for your help, but who are you? I am introducing myself for the ninth time. Just ask your wife when we get out of this mess. Fair enough. Uh, could you do something about these ropes, please? Oh, sorry. You got any bullets left? You ran out? I had to throw my pistol at the last bandit. Just hand me some. I'll get you a lifetime supply once we're out of this musty cave. Ms. Vellefeld, we've got the rest of the bandits tied up at the other exit. What do we do with them? Mrs. Sunderland now, actually. And thank you. Bring them with us and we'll figure out what to do after. You hear that? What do you mean? You! Give me your spyglass! Yes, sir. That's... that's too many. There's almost a hundred of them out there. All coming here real fast. What? Give me that. Damn it, you're right. I'm gonna need those bullets sooner than later, Felicity. You and your husband make a run for it while I distract them. Should be able to bring down some of their horses at least. What are you talking about? What is it? No! Get everyone out of there now! You have to go now if you want to make it in one piece! Levi, you drag her if she won't listen. Uh, alright. Yeah. That's not happening. What do you mean that's not happening? You see that out there? That's death! And there's no getting past death! There is if you're crafty enough. The teleporter pad. I told you it was portable. Everyone, here! That's everyone? I think so. You didn't have to break the thing. We could have just turned it off. 
Better safe than sorry. You enjoyed that. Won't deny it. Come on, then. It's time we take back Haven. Now, everyone just stay inside and this won't get unpleasant. <sighs> Come on, I ain't a monster. Just get yourself inside for the next few hours and then I'll let you out. Sylvester, the megaphone. Yes, boss. <laughs> Attention, please. You've been without a proper mayor for too long. The Fellow Felt family has abused the situation to try and keep you folks under their thumb, away from the progress and away from the rest of the world. Now, I believe that that is downright criminal. They've refused to let anyone buy the nearby land blocked efforts to bring in more technology from the travelers of heaven and allowed this town to stagnate for far too long. That is no longer going to be the case. Under me, you'll prosper. Become one of the finest towns on the frontier and live in luxury you can barely imagine. Just so long as you don't resist, and let me do what needs doing. Uh, sir? What? There's someone coming. Well, I'll be damned. Why do we do about them? Let them through. <laughs> I didn't expect you to make it. You ain't the only one who's got technology from the frontier, Joshua. <laughs> Figures. You can keep the best things to yourself and let others take the scraps. And you're a greedy bastard who's good at hiding it. How'd you know I'd try something? Seemed a bit too easy to find Levi. Knew that if you couldn't take my family's land, you'd try for the town instead. You wouldn't have given either up peacefully, would you? Not to scum like you. Don't make this into a fight, fellow felt. Just hand it over and no one dies today. That's not happening. You think you're quick on the draw, Sandman? You know I am. What the? Get him. One on a horse coming around the corner. Two in front of him. Two on the balcony. One on the roof. Come on out, Sandman. We're not done. Where is... You thought you could hide from me? From progress? You ain't progress. You ain't nothing at all. All out of luck, Sandman. Jack! <laughs> Damn woman! Wait! Well, what do you know? Not so useless after all. Jack, you alright? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. What's that? Nothing. An old badge. Don't think I need it. Not anymore. Well, 
What do you know? I love you. Guess so. Hmm. You know, you're right. You don't need that bent old badge anymore. I've got something better in mind. Huh? And what's that? How would you like to become the new sheriff of Haven, Jack? Nicknames they could have given me. Stan Man. Really? The guy who puts people to sleep? I mean, I get the correlation, but. Why not Handsome or Deadshot? Something cool, you know? Uh, uh. You've been listening to Strange New Worlds and Spaced Out Tales. Episode 10, Heaven's Revolvers, written by Tamor Azam, with editing and proofing by Paul Lawley-Jones, and starred Stephen Newhand as Sandman Jack, Marie Grace as Felicity Fellowfeld, Joe Kilcar as Levi Sunderland, Cisco de Guzman as Joshua Stella, Sage Crossley as The Maid, Quickly as the captain, Tally Tenner as the man and the second guard, Caleb Dethridge as Thugs 1 and 2, and several additional characters all voiced by a combination of Stephen New and Marie Grace, Joe Kilcar, and Cisco de Guzman. Production and sound design were by Jim Cogan, opening theme music by Jim Cogan, and all incidental music and sound effects were licensed from Invato Elements. If you've enjoyed this episode, then please do subscribe, like, maybe even leave us a review wherever you get your podcasts. You can also visit our website at snwasot.com and you can follow us on that social media platform that used to be called Twitter, twitter.com slash snwasot or you can email us email at snwasot.com until next time thanks for listening